Good morning, Wake Up Brace Point. How are you guys today? Good to see you on this Thursday morning. Wake up. Oh, always a struggle to wake up, isn't it? Well, thank you for joining me each and every day on Wake Up Grace Point. Man, sometimes I struggle to figure out what I'm going to say uh, with everything that's going on and have to keep uh, producing all this content for you guys. You know, it's a great challenge that you guys give me each and every day. So I'm uh, going to share a couple things with you guys today. But before we do that, we want to say thank you for joining. Wake up, Grace Point. Give us your comments. Give us your reactions today as you're joining me for just a few minutes. Uh, and as always, we encourage you guys to go to gracepointag.org, our website. You can find out what's going on in the life of our church, give tithes and offerings, give to missionaries. Uh, we do have a couple of events happening this weekend. Friday, we have uh, a youth movie night. I can only uh, I can only imagine, but uh, we kind of welcome everyone. Adults, you can come uh, if you want to. Uh, it's cool. Love subtitles. I don't even know if I'm intentionally doing that. So that's awesome. Uh, so anyway, the youth have a mo movie night. I can only imagine uh, that they're going to be doing. So come check that out. That'll be cool. It's six thirty, and then the kids have a kids game night as well here at the church. So we've got a couple events coming up this Friday at Grace Point. That'll be great. Come check it out. Uh, and then obviously back to service this Sunday, nine and eleven a.m. So for those of you that I still believe movie. Yeah, I still believe. Sorry, not I could only imagine. That is another Christian movie that is very good uh, that I was thinking of based off that song. But this is I Still Believe, the Jeremy Camp story. So anyway, um, come check those things out. And again, we will have services 9 and 11 a.m. as well as 6 p.m. And then at, it is Memorial Day weekend. But after uh, our Sunday service is going to be Sunday night, p.m. service is going to be shortened a little bit. And then we're going to have a time of fellowship afterwards, bring a dessert, bring something to eat or whatever. And we're going to have a fellowship time after our PM service because it's Memorial Day. So there you go. Check out all of our stuff on Facebook Live and go to our Grace Point Daily YouTube channel. We now have 130 videos up there uh, via GP Kids, Wake Up Grace Point, Modern Christian Dads, Dr. R.B. Maynard, all kinds of good stuff. So there you go. Okay, well today I just want to talk um, a couple things. I want to talk about just the simple concept that with God, nothing is impossible. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to clarify is sometimes I say things when I'm speaking or an illustration and you're like, is that really true or is that really not true? Uh, so anyway, yeah, wake up Grace Point to Kevin and Jessica Helm, wake up Grace Point to Rick, Dr. R.B. Maynard, wake up Grace Point, Jane Lee, uh, wake up Grace Point, Pastor Rachel now diving on. So, oh man, I'm getting so nervous all of a sudden now. So anyway, I uh, wanted to clarify on what I was talking about last night. Last night I was talking about how there was a church that got uh, like a explosion kind of slash bombing or something like that in Missouri, but it was actually in Mississippi. Let me pull up the article real quick for you guys so that you can see that. I want to be accurate in the things that I'm speaking in a public setting. <laughs> I didn't really speak any accuracies, but this is the article right here I found on Fox 13. It was actually in North Mississippi. A church is destroyed in an overnight explosion. So Holly Springs, Mississippi was where it was at. Uh, a church was destroyed after an explosion, uh, explosion caught the building on fire. And so if you read through this article, you'll see that uh, the investigators found out that uh, there was graffiti uh, an explosion in the back of the building. And so um, here, here's a little comment. We do believe that based on the evidence, what we've seen at the uh, at the scene, and on top of the, the, this was an arson. Uh, so that's what they believe. But the church was completely destroyed. And now they didn't show, um, unless they showed it up in the video there uh, a second ago. But if you see some of the pictures that were posted on Facebook, which I saw, is that, um, you know, basically they were they were meeting, the church was meeting, and the people who did this wrote hypocrites and <clears throat> stop meeting due to like COVID-19 and stuff like that. So really, obviously this was, you know, persecution. And so a church is completely destroyed uh, because of people that were coming against this church because they were meeting <clears throat> in the midst of COVID-19. So anyway, my point last night was just talking about how we are going to have to take bold stances as the church potentially someday, because um, there's a lot of, I, we, had, we had friends that come through, uh, from Illinois the other day and Illinois is still wrestling with that whole thing. They wanted churches not to reopen for a year and things like that. So uh, what I was bringing up last night is that we would be really sensitive to hear the voice of God uh, in this coming times, uh, times that we need to be bold and times if our government or other people are going to be trying to shut down the church, you know, we might have to be 
uh, taking bold stands in the very near future. So anyway, uh, that that's the article right there. If you want to go check that out again, making sure that you guys see that um, I'll bounce back up over there. Oh, I flipped over to my Bible now. But anyway, it was uh, Fox 13. So North Mississippi, Holly, Holly Springs. You can uh, look into that further. Okay, so today let's talk about, let's bounce over to Scripture. Luke chapter 18, verse 26 to 28. Here's what it says. It says, those who heard this asked, who then can be saved? Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Peter said to him, we have left all we had to follow you. So today the thought I just want to bring to you is that thought um, and that mindset of living with the belief that God can do the impossible uh, in in terms of a lot of different things. Here's what I want to share is that I tend to be whoop, bouncing back over there, but I tend to be a dreamer type person or tend to have a lot of dreams, obviously ones that are weird and don't make sense. But last night I had a, a, I had a dream and kind of felt vivid and real. Uh, but anyway, I had a dream where I went to like, it was like the hospital uh, nursing home kind of thing and went to go visit my dad and it must have been in my brain because my dad's birthday was yesterday and think about that and so I remember going to the hospital in my dream and my dad has just been is super small and frail uh, in his look and all those kind of things and my dad I got to there the hospital to the nursing home and my dad was walking and he was you know, my dad doesn't walk anymore. doesn't walk right now. And my dad was walking and, and, and was like, it was, in my dream it was like, amazing. Like dad's walking and he's like, he's doing, holy cow, this is amazing. Uh, and he's walking around. And then in my dream, we sat down and we're talking and my dad was like, well, I think I'm ready to go home now. And I was like, uh, and this is probably in my brain from the things we've dealt with my dad <laughs> is like, other people were there in my dream, like, no, he can't go home. He can't go home. Uh, but I was like, well, yeah, but he's, he's walking and he's like fully functional. And, uh, I, at some point I woke up. And so when I woke up, I'm just like really meditating or, or thinking about that, uh, like my dream that I just had. And, you know, sometimes in our human brains thinking, well, you know, my dad has latter stages of Parkinson's and it just is what it is. And, you know, his existence will be his existence until the day that he dies. Uh, and so I'm just kind of having a conversation in my brain with myself this morning as I'm waking up to challenge myself once again to believe for the impossible. And just to say, well, Jeremiah, you know, don't, don't you believe that God can do the impossible? Don't you believe that you could pray and that you could walk in there and see your dad walking and fully functioning? Don't you believe that? And we say that, but I don't know that we believe those types of things. Or we, we, we try to navigate, we try to make these weird arguments like that was then, this is now, all, all these types of debates. And just in all honesty, I, I'm, I'm sick of when I have that mindset and I'm sick of when the, the church presents that mindset of like, you know, God does do miracles, but you know, he doesn't do them or, you know, I, I don't know. I just want to believe that here's the, the simple argument. I want to believe that with God, nothing is impossible, period. And I want to believe that in multiple phases, as we've read in the scripture, who can be saved? I want to believe that God can save anyone. I know that right now that there are people in my life or maybe relatives or people that I know that I, I, in, in, in my flesh, in, in my normal human thinking, I would say, man, I don't, I don't know if it's possible for that person to get saved <laughs> where they're at. I don't know that. The, well, it's not impossible. God can reach anyone. God can grab the hearts of anyone. The person that you think is so lost, that is, is so far gone, that will never embrace the gospel. It's not impossible for God to save that person. It's not impossible for God to reach that person. So change that mentality. Change that mindset in Jesus' name. Amen. When it comes to healing and sicknesses, um, get out of your brain or, 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 or speak to your, uh, speak to yourself, speak to your brain or whatever and say, no, with God, it is impossible. Sometimes we get into sickness and disease and then, you know, believe for the impossible. I'm thinking Jessica Helm, as you 
are on and commenting, I'm thinking of you. You know, we talked about this Sunday, complete healing. I'm not going to believe halfway. I'm not believing for, well, you know, because like Jessica Helm dealing with seizures. Well, you know, Lord, she has normally has 20 or 30 today. Uh, but, you know, I'm just believing for only 15. Praise the God. Praise God. Woo. It's, it's not impossible that God can completely heal her body in Jesus name. It's not impossible. It's not impossible that God can do miracles today. Guys, this is the scripture. It's on your screen with, with, with Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. So, uh, yeah, if you're doing it in your strength and in your prayers and, you know, I've hung out in the Pentecostal world for a while. So it's, it's almost borderline entertaining now sometimes, but you know, for people like it doesn't matter how loud you pray or how charismatic you pray. That's not what does the healing. God does the healing. So with man, you can't conjure up healing. God can, God is healing and God can do healing. So what is impossible with man is possible with God. So listen, I know that's the truth. It's probably a redundant truth. If you've hung out in the church for a little while, then, um, you know, it, it, it's, become monotonous Christian thinking. But today I want to declare once again, what is impossible with man is possible with God. And, and that thinking is applicable to every single scenario in your life. It's applicable to people in our lives that are lost, that need Jesus, that need to get saved, that are so distant and far from him, broken. Uh, I think of people that, um, I've interacted with substance uh, type issues that that are so bound and it seems, man, they're never going to break free of that. No, what is impossible with man is possible with God. Today, I think of, you know, that dream I had last night with my dad walking and and, and uh, fully healed. The only thing I can remember in my dream, limitation, physical limitation uh, that I ha he still had in, his, in my dream was that he still had a catheter. But you know, uh, I remember like, was he going to get that out now too? Or it, anyway, but it's not impossible for God to heal my dad. It's not impossible for dad, uh, to my, for God to heal my dad completely of Parkinson's right now. I don't have to live with the mentality. I don't have to embrace who he is and what my physical eyes see him as right now. I can still believe for healing. And I want you to carry that thinking into your life today, into situations, into scenarios and things that you're wrestling with, things that you're struggling with. Listen, you can say to that, what, what is impossible here? Uh, and my thinking is possible with God. God can step in. He can do a miracle today. So, you know, in our country, thinking of that today, um, regarding uh, all things COVID-19, the virus, etc. You know, uh, Paul, you know, man, it seems like it, we're never going to experience a move of God in our country. We just keep creeping farther away. But, it, you know, what is impossible with man is possible with God. It, it is possible. It's very and highly likely possible. We can see revival and we can see God uh, do something great. So, on this wake up grace point, that's all I'm saying over and over again. What is impossible with man is possible with God. And so can I just pray that over you today? Can I just come into agreement with you for things that are going on in your life, circumstance and situation? Uh, I forgot to say wake up to Isaiah and Hezekiah. They're watching. They love they love the wake up grace point. They're all for it. Um, so good, mor good morning and wake up grace point to Isaiah Johnson. All right, so let's go ahead and pray today, and let's go ahead and pray, believing for the impossible in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord God. We've declared your word, and your word says, what is impossible for man is possible for God. And I want to just declare that, God. I think of something simple as, as if that's a God dream, then I need to declare that and, and keep speaking and keep believing. Father, today I come before you. Uh, I'm selfish for a second. I, I declare over Steve Johnson today, complete healing to his body. I pray that you will heal Parkinson's, Lord God, cause him to rise, cause physical strength to come into his bones today, Lord Jesus, that he could walk and function uh, and, and yet you can restore everything that was broken and taken away in his body in Jesus' name. Lord, I continue to speak to Jessica Helm today, and I speak complete, complete healing in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you remove every ounce of sickness, every uh, hindrance, every physical ailment from her body, Lord Jesus, completely healed in the name of Jesus. Bless Jane Lee today. Dr. R.B. Maynard and Stella, God, continue to do the impossible in their lives, Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, today for Pastor Rachel, Lord Jesus, we pray for her as she 
and starting to prepare for uh, the No Price Tag Conference coming up in August. Uh, we've seen, God, some of these teenagers, and it feels like it's impossible, God, to reach them and, and the places they've gone, things that they're doing. But, Lord, we declare, God, thank you that all things are possible, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, that you're going to reach and restore and save our youth and their generation and do something great within them. Nana to six, I bless you today in the name of Jesus uh, for the, the impossible situations that are happening in your life right now. I declare that all things are possible today in the name of Jesus. For our country today, Lord Jesus, that's wrestling, that's struggling, that there's so much division, strife, Lord God. Lord, I believe it's possible that, Lord God, you are going to bring about a move of God and a revival and something significant that will bring such honor and glory to your name, Jesus, and to no one else so that, God, you will get the credit and people will be drawn to you. So thank you for that, Jesus. Lord, we love you today. We thank you, God, for your word. And thank you, God, that I can carry that that possible mindset into circumstance and situations today that I can look to, I can look to physical and spiritual things and say, you know, that's possible. That's possible. That's possible. That's possible. I don't even need to put the, I am on it anymore. I need to put the, I am on it, but Lord God, the, 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 I am in terms of lettering Lord, I just need to say it's possible. That's all I need to declare today. So thank you today that it's possible. Healing is possible. Salvation is possible. Lord, we love you today. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So praise God. Thank you guys today for joining me on Wake Up Grace Point. You go and walk and live with that mentality today that it is possible. Amen. We'll talk to you guys next.